Will Thornton about to throw the opening pitch. This is Paul Cunningham joined by Terry Ward. We're here at Mountain View High School to bring you this Pianza League Baseball contest between the home team Mountain View Spartans and visiting team uh, Gun Titans. And Chris Ray leads off for Gun. We're going to apologize as we go through the telecast. All we got from Gun was their roster. We didn't get a lineup card. So as they come up to the plate, we're going to try to get their number and find out who they are. There's only 10 kids on the roster, so it, um, we didn't think it would take that much for a coach to write down a lineup card for us, but apparently John Harney had a tough time with that, and we'll see what happens. Ray pops it up in a shallow right field, drifting back on it in there to make the catch. He has Nick Lilly for out number one. So we can... Well, Raviv Levins is the number two hitter. For gun. No idea what position he'll be playing. We'll try to figure that out as they go out to the field, too. And with their <laughs> face in front of them, you know, their backs will be against the fence. We won't know. Yeah, the numbers are only on their back, so. Yep. We'll use our crack camera crew. We have a camera center field, and we'll try to get numbers between innings for you. So I can't give you a starting lineup. This one's laced into right field and down for a base hit. Levins will. Round first and hold there as Daniel Ray gets it back into the infield quickly. I'll bring up the number three hitter, number nine, Kevin Sharp. Thornton checks the runner, delivers, pitch in there for a strike, 0 and 1. Will Thornton on the mound, and Keegan uh, Stanley is his catcher. We got to go around that defense yeah, as we'll soon as we can. That. Yeah. Maybe on the, after the next pitch. You, you, you go, go ahead. ahead. You All go right, ahead, I'll buddy. Do. You. I will do it after the next pitch. Mm -hmm. Throw over to first, and back in plenty of time is 11th. As to say, it's a 3.30 start, flag blowing in. So the wind's going to be coming center field toward into the batter, but it's a beautiful, beautiful day. Ground ball towards second base. Lilly has it, flips to short on the first double play. Nice play. Pitcher's best friend. And Sharp grounds into the four to six to three double play to end the half inning for the Gun Titans. One half in the books, Gun nothing, Mountain View coming to bat. Just trying to get the defenses here ready to go for uh, you here with Gun. Leading off for Mountain View will be Matt Munoz, their first baseman, out to face Chris Ray, who's on the mound for the Titans. First pitch from Ray's in there for a strike, 0 and 1. Did you say number two is playing? Did you see the, get the second baseman's number? No, I did not. All right, so that's the only one we're missing. So around the outfield for Gunn is Connor Dang in left, Dante Sweat in center, and Justin Wenig is in right field. Ben Sampson is the first baseman. Ground ball towards. Short, scooped, and they throw across a diamond is not in time. As Raviv Levins made a nice play, but Matt Munoz legs it out for the infield single and a leadoff hit for the Spartans here in the bottom of the first inning. So Raviv Levins is the shortstop for Gunn. Kevin Sharp is at third. Yuta Okada is behind the plate. We got Ben Sampson at first for... Yeah. The Gun Titans. Dwight Washington, the batter. Yeah, let's go, Dwight. Dwight Washington's the center fielder for the Spartans. Tries the butt and fouls it back over the top of the backstop. 0 oh 1. I'd watch him listed at 6-2. And he is very big. He is tall. Runner goes. Nice job by Washington putting it in play. It's going to drop in. Munoz paused for a second. Now Washington pauses for a second, but quickly races into second base. He'll be credited with a double. And Munoz makes his way to third base. Another look Here's at Here's our replay. 
As you can see, Dwight just stuck the bat out, to be honest with you. Well, the runner did yeah. advance the second one. He bobbled it a little bit at right, so he could get credited for the single. Either way, it's a hit. Yep. Runners at second and third, and the batter will be Daniel Ray. And then we found out number eight, Roy Shadman. Is the second, baseman? second baseman right. for your, so we've your got gun titans. Well, they're not mine. Not if they don't give me a lineup. Ooh, there's... <laughs> Roy Shadman, the second baseman. All right, so now we've got all of their defensive players. And with only 10 guys on the roster, there's yeah. not going to be a lot of substituting for Gunn. No. So Ray steps in with runners at second and third. Nobody out and swings through that one. Pulled his head just a bit on it. Nobody out, runners at second and third. Danny Ray's a junior. Off-speed pitch gets past the catcher and coming in to score is Munoz. As Okada couldn't smother it, Munoz will score on the wild pitch. Backstop is a very big back here. Yeah, there's a lot of room. A lot of room, so catcher's gonna miss the ball. He's gonna be hustling. So Mountain View on the scoreboard first. Daniel Ray pops it back out of play. On two and two count. Yeah, on deck for the Spartans, Will Thornton, the pitcher. Ray checks the runner at third. Pitch is low. Full count to Ray. Pops this one up on the infield, drifting over and calling for it is Shadman, and Shadman makes the catch for out number one. That will be the pitcher, Will Thornton. Throw, fake throw back to third, nothing doing. Pitch is low. Ball drops in there for a strike. Let's go, Phil. Pitch at the knees for a strike. One and two. Hey, ground ball up the middle gets done right here. Well, we say. Throw over to third, nothing doing. Third base was playing off the back, actually. Yeah. Yeah, there was no chance they were going to get him there. No. Pitch just misses on the curve. Game of yeah. Two and two the count. Must be lonely for the one player in the gun dugout. So yeah, by himself, I our, just looked yeah. up over there and yeah. The two coaches are focusing on the defense and he just sort of sits there and may probably break out his homework if he wanted to. Sure. Popped up it's behind right home here. plate. Okada has a shot at it and nice job by Okada to make the catch. That ball was straight up. 
It's a tough play for a yeah. catcher. Yeah. He did a nice job on it. Yeah. Battle will be second baseman Nick Lilly. And Ray about to possibly pitch himself out of a jam here. He had runners at second and third with nobody out, and now he's gotten two outs. One run has pushed across on the wild pitch. Let's go, Nick! We say lick Nilly. Look at look at look at Lilly. Curveball drops in there for a strike oh one. Curveball again, hey, misses. One on one the count. Throw over to third and back in time is Washington. Washington has very good speed, so they are a little concerned about him. Yeah, because I was wondering, I don't see him doing anything. Pitch in the dirt, and Washington's going to try for it and will score on the wild pitch. So, Dwight Washington, a good read as he saw that one going in the dirt, and he kept coming forward. Another yeah, look. here's your replay. You can't see Dwight, but he had a good lead anyway off a of third. Could see it hit in the dirt, and he was off to the races, and he scored easily. Well, there's your pitchers undoing right there, buddy. Two wild pitches in yeah. here. Chris Ray dug himself a hole. Two and one the count to Lilly. Base is clean now. Fastball in there for a strike, two and two. Fisted, and that's going to drop down into left field for a base hit. Nice job by Lilly with two strikes. That was a perfect word, right off the handle, fisted. Had just enough, that's the old aluminum bat there. Here's your re a replay. Watch where the pitch is, yeah, inside. Nick just muscled that right over uh, Kevin Sharp's head. John McAllister, the batter, they throw over. I don't believe Lily will be a threat. No, he wasn't very fast going down either. Well, he didn't have to be, but. He didn't have to be. No. He doesn't have a, what would you call a runner's body. <laughs> As you and I can both attest to. Yes. I mean, similar builds. and Well, at least I do. My buddy. Pitch just misses. Two know the count to John McAllister, the Spartan third baseman. The wind has shifted now and a little. It's blowing out. Yeah, blowing out. Getting a little stronger. We can feel it. We can also hear it going through our mics. Yes. We're right out here in the elements to the right of the batter's box. Beautiful day here in Mountain View. Magnificent. Another day in paradise. Lifted into left field. Trying to get a beat on it is Connor Dang, and dang me if he doesn't catch it. And F7 to retire the side, but not before Mountain View puts two across the plate. We've played one, two to nothing, Spartans. My parents are really slowing down. I feel bad I can't always be there for them. How do I choose between caring for my mother and caring for my own family? I've been looking into the options, but Dad doesn't want to leave his home. What do I do? Struggling to care for an aging parent? You're not alone. Learn how Home Instead Senior Care can provide the personalized in-home care your loved one needs. Home Instead. To us, it's personal. Ever since we moved to the United States, Palo Alto Medical Foundation has been taking care of our health. We love our doctor. She is always ready to listen to us and is very professional and answers all our questions and is very reassuring. PAMF has been there not just for my own family but for the whole community. 
whether they're seeing patients or providing doctors for our free medical care. Connor Dang, the leadoff for a gun. He is their left fielder. Quickly go through the Spartan defense since we had not done that yet. Sam Moore's in left, Dwight Washington in center. Daniel Ray is in right. Matt Munoz at first. Nick Lilly at second. Uh, John McAllister at third. Clark Applegren is the shortstop. Keegan Stanley behind the plate and Will Thornton's first pitch is lifted into right field towards Daniel Ray. He goes back onto the wind, is blowing it out that way, and he's able to get back and make the catch for out number one. Ball went a long way off the bat. Nice range by Daniel Ray. Yes, sir. We're looking at number six now, buddy. Okada Yuta. The catcher will be the batter now for Gunn. One pitch, one out is very economical. Pitch right at the knees to Yuta. Evens it counted one and one. What? Inside, two and one. Dante Sweat for the Titans is on deck. Ground ball right back to Thornton. Gloves it, gets off the mound, throws to first in time to retire Yuta. Nice defensive play there by Thornton, fielding his position. Two away. And the batter will be Dante Sweat, the center fielder for the Titans. Dwight, go full. Dan, go with them. Big left handed batter. Pops that one over towards the, the dugout and out of play. Good. Right there, Sam. <laughs> All right, that's a good job. Yeah, well, you know. Thornton ready. Fouled straight back into the screen. Thornton quickly jumps ahead, 0-2. This one's lifted well into right center field. A run for Washington. He calls off Ray, and he is there to make the catch for out number three, a one, two, three inning for a Will Thornton. We've played one and a half, two to nothing, Spartans. Sam Moore, Clark Applegren, and Keegan Stanley slated for Mountain View here in the bottom of the second inning. Sam Moore, the Spartan left fielder, steps in. It's got the old school stirrups on. I like it. There you go. First pitch from Chris Ray in there for a strike, 0 and 1. Spartans, two runs in the first inning, both on wild pitches by Mr. Ray. Drilled into center field for a base hit. Over to cut it off is Dante Sweat. He gets it back in, and Sam Moore with a sharp single to center. Leads off the bottom of the second for the Spartans. Here's your replay, left-handed batter. Nice little stroke. Straight up the, a little to the left side of second base, but nice swat. Clark Applegren nice steps in. He's the shortstop for Mountain View. Runner goes. He swings at it, just gets a piece of it. That's Moore more, had a pretty good jump. Yeah, we good jump. That was more a protection swing also. He, the ball was a little outside. I think it was a hit and run, so yep. he was trying to protect the runner, but the runner probably had a good enough jump to steal that one. Now a little time out called as 
Sam Moore's got a equipment malfunction, tying his shoe. Accomplished that very quickly. Very adept at tying his shoe at this age. There's Sam, yeah. He learned young. Yeah. You know, that's one of the things you teach. I've got uh, two grand nephews, uh, three you, and uh, four. Are you four. teaching them? They're into Velcro. I like it. <laughs> you just got to Velcro <laughs> the shoe across. They don't want to tie it. Boy, the new times, yeah. huh? You know? We never had Velcro. Take the easy way. I know we didn't. Right. Ooh, uh, pitch well over the head of Applegren. A late jump by Moore, and he just does get down there to second base on the wild pitch. Is that rebounded very nicely to Yuta Okada, and he tried to make a throw. Moore was able to get in. Oh, and to the count as they're rolling, and I think correctly that Applegren actually attempted to bunt that pitch that was well up. So it is an 0 and 2 count. Curveball is just up. Runner in scoring position, nobody out. Spin move and nothing doing is. Moore was closer to the bag than either of the two middle infielders. Let's go, Ted. Yeah, let's go, Peanut. Go go for it. Oh, behind the batter. Keeping them loose. Two and two the count. Hit hard, but foul down the third baseline. With only one gun tightened to retrieve that ball, he's got solo duty to go down and get that ball. <laughs> yeah, At least it gives him something to do. Yeah, Dietrich's uh, sweat. His brother's playing. The sweat and, brothers. Yeah, the sweat brothers. Their sweats together. Low for a ball. Full count to Applegren. He's done a good job working the count back from an 0-2 to a full yeah. count. Well, he's been, Chris Ray's got the moving the ball all over the place. He's been inside out, high low, concentrating on that runner. Ground ball in the hole at shortstop. Over to Glover, the throw to third, and the tag made oh, in time. A running error by Sam Moore as that ball was in front of him, and he should have waited and forced the shortstop to try to make the long throw across. Instead, he ran into an out. His shortstop was down on his knees, Paulie. Yeah, here's your, here's your shot. And there's Ravi Levins. And the ball was going wow. to the third baseman. Mm -hmm. Kevin Sharp did a nice job getting back to the bag, and Raviv Levins All went right. with, the, with the ball, and Went to third base. Moore ran into the out. So, one out. Runner at first base is Clark Applegren on the field fielder's choice. You know, and as a coach, it's got to drive you crazy. It does. Because all you you had to just stand there. You're Fundamental on baseball. Base. Yeah. yeah. Keegan Stanley, the batter. He's the catcher for Mountain View. First and second, no outs, and now you man ran right in. Yeah, you would have had, yeah, and yeah. on the throw to first, he could have, yeah. if he made a throw, he could have maybe come down to third base because it would have been a, have done, a tough right. throw. He wasn't going to get a lot of He was on, on his it. knees. Levens was on his knees. Fouled back. Went to the count to Stanley. Throw over to first, back in time is Amplegren. Four sophomores on this gun titan roster. Mm -hmm. Three were playing. Yeah, swing and a miss. As first strike out Stanley went for one well out of the strike zone. Yeah. 
This game is brought to you by KMVT's All Sports Presenting Sponsors, the Palo Alto Medical Foundation, part of the Sutter Health Network. Choose your PAMP doctor today and by Home Instead Senior Care. Home Instead provides a personalized in-home care your loved one needs. Home Instead, to them, it's personal. Chris Ray did the perfect job stepping off the mound there before the pitch and giving you some additional time to go ahead and get through that promo. He, he knew. This one's lifted into center field off the bat of Matt Munoz. Drifting back and there to make the catch is Dante Sweat to retire Munoz and retire the Spartans. We have played two complete. It is two to nothing, Mountain View. Some of the younger kids practicing their long jump. That one went about 18 inches. Roy Shadman, the batter for the Gun Titans to lead off the third inning. First pitch from Will Thornton's in there for a strike, 0 and 1. On deck, Ben Sampson, your first baseman. Fouled and right off the mask of the catcher, Keegan Stanley. Oh, to the count to Shadman. Swings Boom. at that change, a very nice pitch by Will Thornton. And down goes Shadman on the strikeout, one away. The batter will be the first baseman, Ben Sampson. Here's your replay. Boy, had him really reaching. Nice Way outside pitch. Out yeah. of front. Yeah. Pitch misses low and in. Ball one to Sampson. Ground ball towards second. Lily has it. Lily throws. Lily gets him. It's a field of lilies. Justin Winnig. Batter is Justin Winnig. He is the right fielder for the Gun Titans. Thank you. I didn't have to flip my book. Only a sophomore. Mm -hmm. Fouls that one back. 0 and 1. Two and one the cap to Justin Winnick. And then we'll, if he happens to get on, we will go to the top of the order for gun. Blooper towards right field and calling off the second baseman is Daniel Ray. And he makes the catch for out number three. So a one, two, three inning for the Titans. We've played two and a half, two to nothing, a Mountain View. Ever since Dad died, taking care of Mom is overwhelming. I can't do it on my own. Sure, my mother needs me, but I just want to be a daughter again. Mom wants to stay in her home, but needs more help than ever. It just can't be me all the time. Struggling to care for an aging parent? You're not alone. Learn how Home Instead Senior Care can provide the personalized in-home care your loved one needs. Home Instead. To us, it's personal. How you doing, Dan? Dwight Washington, Daniel Ray, and Will Thornton slated here for the Spartans in the bottom of the third inning. Just saying hello to Daniel Ray, who played on IOOF and Mountain View Bay Ruth for me. Is he through? Is he? He's done age-wise. I mean, oh yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Had a tough break his 15-year-old uh, year. He got hurt in frost soft baseball here oh. and broke his. Uh, Broke a bone in his 
leg and was unable to play for us his 15 year old year. And uh, he was the fastest kid on the team. Probably he still play. would be, could not play. No, to sit up all season. That's not good. Nope. But he's playing here now, and that's the important thing. That's Absolutely. It's he good healed. to see him. He, he healed. healed. Well, the human body's an amazing thing. Washington hits this one into center field, drifting over there to make the catch. He is Dante Sweat in Washington. He is out on the F8, one away. And the aforementioned Daniel Ray will be the batter. Now, is IU going to have the same coach as they had last year? Yes, Paul Martinez, myself, um, and Dave Bell, and okay. we're going to have a new coach that's going to come in and help us. And who too. will that be? I don't know his name. He's bald is bringing him up. So. Okay. Okay. Foul uh, back out of play. And uh, this will be your 74th year? No, no, uh, only the 29th. 29th year as yes. coaching. All right. Well, it's good that you're going to be coming back from your hometown of Mr. Yep. Las Vegas. Yep. Cut, Daniel. Nice pitch. Yes, it was. Worked it up high around the letters. I Gotta keep that, that front shoulder, and he's pulling yeah. that front shoulder out. And it's giving him alligator arms. Got your center field camera here, so you can see how he's climbing. He threw the same place again. Danny held Tried off to on get this him one. To go, yeah, huh? Danny held off on that one. Oh, you you call him Danny? You know him well enough to call him Danny? Or? I know him all. I know all these players. Oh, okay. Yes. Right. As a color commentator, right. yeah. I, okay. Right. You get around. I, absolutely. Okay. Curveball is hit towards short, gloved by Levens, throws across, and just in time to get Daniel for out number two. And the pitcher, Will Thornton, will be the batter. Thornton hit a high pop-up right above home plate in his first appearance. A pop-up that went straight up in the it air. Did. Catcher made a nice play. Yeah. Wind's still blowing out. Yes, indeed it is. Mm -hmm. It's a high cloud cover here today, and uh, oh yeah, I know you know the types of clouds. These uh, are. Well, the ones out outfield there, they're uh, cumulus highus. Cumulus highus. Cumulus altitudinis. Mm -hmm. Meteorology was my major. I can tell it, it, that you really put a lot of time into that. Yeah. Well, you hit it to me real quick, so I had to come up with something. Yeah. Hey, Foul there's... tipped into the glove of the catcher. These clouds are indigenous of Northern California. Seeing them in their, their yeah. natural <laughs> element. Grounder to third, Sharp has it. Throws nice across play. the diamond in time to retire Thornton. And a quick one, two, three inning for the Spartans here in the bottom of the third. We've played three complete, two to nothing, Mountain View. Top of the order for the Gun Titans. Chris Ray, uh, Raviv Levins, and Kevin Sharp slated for them as they look to score some runs here. Hey, back them up, lead off. Chris Ray flat out to second baseman. Uh, Nick Lee. Ray jumps on there the first pitch and a single into left field. They finally got one. Second hit of the game for Gunn. Hey, talk to your shortstop. Another look at it. Oh, nice, solid swing there. Raviv Levens, the batter for the Gun Titans. Levin singled in his first at bat. He's one for one on the day. Pops this one, fouled back, and out of play. Oh, they got him picked, throw over. They got him in a rundown. They throw, they make a sweeping tag, and they get him. 
So Ray is picked off at first. Nice move by Thornton. A one to three to four. KMBT Sports would like to thank Home Instead Senior Care for their continuing support of high school sports programming. Home Instead, to them, it's personal. You can't lose your relationship until you call for the ball. Many relationships have ended when you've called for the ball. It's just a deal breaker sometimes. Yeah. Here we go, Will. Go one out. Want to know the count to 11th? Foul tipped under the glove of Keegan Stanley. It's a good cut. Was a good cut. Fouled back and out of play. One and two the count. Off speed pitch, misses up. Two and two the count. Breeze is keeping things comfortable here. Yes, sun is uh, shining brightly. Behind us and it's beating down on our backs. It is. Strike three call. Yeah, down him. goes got Levens. Got that inside corner. Two away. Batter is Kevin Sharp. Sharp grounded into a any, any double play as first as bat. Another look at the Here's strike. Replay. Watch that pitch breaking in. He Oof. thought, yeah. Well, he moved out of the way, and Dave Vinigas, the home plate umpire, gave him the call. Pitch in there for a strike, 0 and 1. I've had no problem today with the umpires. Yep, my Dave Vinigas no is a very consistent. Yep. Once he gets into a rhythm, he's... Uh, he's been around a while. He definitely has. He's thrown me out on numerous occasions. There you go. He has a tendency to hear everything I say. Sometimes right. it's... Yeah, I, I sometimes uh, take umbrage with uh, some calls he could make. Mm -hmm. But we always make up afterwards. I was going to say, he paid his condolence. Condol condol <laughs> He did, he did say hello to us. Sometimes he, uh, I think he gets in a, a kick out of ejecting me, so. Nothing personal. Nothing personal. It's been a while, though. It's been several years now since that's yeah. happened. So. Strictly business. Strictly business. A nice play by Will Thornton. As he got Kevin Sharps reaching on that last pitch. Gets him to ground out, and we have now played three and a half. It's two to nothing Spartans. Very patriotic shot, and as you can see, the wind is blowing out. Though it's dying down a little bit now. Yep. It's getting hotter on us. Sun continues to beat down. Nick Lilly, the Spartan second baseman, will lead off. He'll be followed by John McAllister and Sam Moore. Bottom of the fourth. Before. Pitch kicks off the glove of Yuta Okada. Off speed pitch is grounded right, right down the third baseline and foul. Nick Lilly stayed with it well, but just hit it foul. Like to. Uh a, a belated St. Patrick's Day hello to Mr. O'Malley. And Mr. Jim O'Malley. Yes, sir. Your mentor. My mentor. We know he's watching. Off the fist and out of play. Well, he's showing he's willing to hit to both sides of the field. Wherever the, yeah, hit where the ball's pitched. I will go where the ball takes me. Ooh, uh, that almost nicked him. Take a dose, Lil. Take a dose. Two and two the count. There you can see yeah. it. Yeah. Just, just barely. Let's go, Lil. 
curveball. It's grounded slowly towards short. Good job by Revive to charge that ball. Excuse me, by Levins. Revive Levins, yes. And uh, he gets Nick Lilly on. I was suddenly on a first name basis with the gun shortstop. Oh, you could you was channeling like me, him. huh? No. Oh, yeah. Johnny McAllister up next. And a fly <laughs> ball to left field. First at bat. Yeah, you and Johnny. <laughs> he covered him in basketball. So it's like you've been seeing him more often. Yeah. He's a good basketball player. Yeah, very good basketball player. Yeah. Takes up ball one. Just misses low. Ray thought he had that one. Gave a rather a long look at the umpire, or at least at the location of the pitch. <laughs> On the corner for a strike. Two to one the count. I think Jim might have been taking a little on that one. He didn't look. Nice. All speed curveball breaks in there. Two and two. Both pitchers very effective here today. Yeah, Chris Ray and Will Thornton. Right around, they've been right around the plate. Been, Swing and a miss. They've been pitching off speed and, uh, you know, fastballs. They've been, been right there. Two away. And the batter will be Sam Moore. Moore is one for one on the day. <laughs> a knuckleball comes in there for a strike. Ray made that one dance. His brother, uh, older brother, Anthony Ray, used to play Joe DiMaggio baseball for me. Okay. Was a very good athlete. Went and played baseball down at Santa Clara University. Excellent knowledge. And uh, his older sister actually played for the gun baseball team. Years ago. This years was ago? probably okay. 15 years ago. This has to be the youngest Ray. Can't be anymore. <laughs> this one's popped up behind short and drifted over Gee. towards second base. <laughs> that ball kept carrying. So Ravive Levins uh, drifted all the way over to the second base position to make that catch, and it retires the side. So we have played four complete. It is two to nothing, Mountain View. Will Thornton out to work uh, his fifth inning. There's he will face Connor Dang, Okada Yuta, and Dante Sweat. What were we looking at? Our cameraman. Oh, yeah. And uh, home plate. The fearless. Robin Frank. Yep. The man, the myth, the legend. Yeah, he's got the camera behind home tonight. He is the toughest cameraman in Northern California. By far. Bar none. Bar none. In fact, he'd run through bars if it had to. He, he would do it. To get the shot, he would do it. Pitch is fouled back by Connor Dang. Down the right field line, lots of people running, and... It's the right fielder, Danny. Hey, hey, get in there. It drops oh. in I would, nobody on, nobody for the single, that. bloops in, in front of Daniel Ray. Let's, let's get the replay on that. That was right down the line. Kind of running all the way, although he slowed up a little. 
It was a tough leg because you yeah. got the uh, Matt Mun- Munoz, Nick Lilly's there, and Nick, Munoz yeah. and Jim Ray. It's like there's all sorts of people there, and it's that one little ball found that one little yeah. hole. Yep. It's like I got it, I got it, you got it, and uh, nobody had it, and nobody had it. So. Oh, Kata Yuta, the batter, throw over to first, and uh, back in time is Dang. A bit of a breeze out here today. Heads up. Pitch is up. Nothing doing on the runner. Not sure if that was a pitch out or not. If it was, it was straight up rather than to the outside. I think he just maybe lost control of the pitch. Throw over to first, and Dang is back in time. Read that move like a book. Low. Two and one. Coach John Harney flashing through a lot of signs at third base. Where they're down two. Runner goes, and it was a hit and run. Grounds it right up the middle and a bobble. Bobble. And unable to come up with it was Applegren as he thought double play. And... Took his eye off the ball for a second and it kicked away from him. So an error on the shortstop. And that puts runners at first and second with nobody out. Boy, yeah, you're right. I think he was thinking more, let me get that double play. Then let's just hit right up into his lap, right into his stomach. Couldn't pick it up. Dante sweat the batter. We'll see if he bunts here. Runners at first, second, nobody out. So what flew out to center field in his last at bat. Communicate. Lily got cheap. A bunning situation. Bat. Corners are up a little bit. Ah! He swings it's away and pops it up on the infield. Applegren calls for it, and well, Applegren will make the catch. Pick up third. Will. For out they number one. Just go over there and pick up third base. One away. Patter is second baseman Roy Shadman. Shadman struck out in his first at bat. Ball first. Fouls it straight back. Owen won the count. Now he scores the ball and he fouls it back. Good job. Oh, and to the count to Roy Shadman. Go, it's back it down. Go, it's we're diving. Max, back up two, cover it. Two strikes, right there. You're ready. Off speed pitch is grounded foul down the first baseline. <laughs> Soft liner that hit the dirt and skipped out. Ball was spinning. Really good. Curve ball misses. Just misses. One and two the count. <laughs> Fouled out of play. Chapman giving Will Thornton a good workout here. Making him throw pitches. Yes, sir.
hit hard, but foul. Good time for it. Trying to dispose of as many baseballs as he can and one at bat. He's doing a good job. Excellent job. <laughs> There's more Titans on the bench now to go help with those foul balls, so that's a good thing. Yeah. Off speed pitch is, oh, Whoa. nice play by Thornton. Throws to second. Throws. Nice play Boy. by Applegren. They get him at second. Good scoop. Will threw up. I thought that ball was gone away. I did too. Yeah. So two nice plays on it. Look at it. Here's your replay shot right back. Will stabbed it and just rushing the pick, rushing to throw the ball. In the dirt, from, but uh, nice pickup by Applegren. All right, we got a little time here. Trip to the mound. They're going to check on everybody, make sure they're okay. Who's our uh, sponsor here today, uh, Mr. Warren? Yeah, KMVT Sports presenting sponsors the Palo Alto Medical Foundation, part of the Sutter Health Network. Choose your PAMP doctor today. And this game is brought to you by Home Instead Senior Care. Home Instead, to them it's personal, and the Palo Alto Medical Foundation. Choose your PAMF doctor today. And here's your standings. Deanza Wilcox, 6-1 and one with Palo Alto, 6-1. and one. There's Gunn, 0-7. This is a big game for them. Santa Clara. Mountain View Los Altos. Here's your two arch rivals. They're both at three and four. So the coffee break is over. Thornton still out there on the mound. The batter is Ben Sampson with runners at first and third. They wanted to get their defense in order on a first and third situation in the event. Roy Shadman breaks from first base. This one's hit hard in the right field. Ray has to go back on it, and nice play by Daniel Ray in right field as he got spun around but was able to recover and set his feet there and make a nice catch in right field to end the inning. That will do it for the Gun Titans. We have played four and a half, five and a half, and it is two to nothing Mountain View. As a busy mom of three kids, I find it extremely convenient to access My Health Online. My Health Online's messaging service allows me to keep in close contact with our doctor. Being able to email the doctor with questions gave us assurance that they do take an interest in the patients. That's why we've been with Pan for more than 10 years and keep adding members, the newest member. Hi, I'm Ricky Affler with Spartan Sports Camp. Brought to you by the Mountain View High School Athletic Department, Spartan Sports Camp offers multi-sport camps for kids in grades 3 through 6, as well as sports-specific camps for grades 6 through 9. We give campers the opportunity to receive instruction from the Mountain View High School coaching staff and student-athletes. Strength camps are also available throughout the summer. For registration info, visit our website at www.spartansportscamp.com. Sessions begin June 10th and run weekly through August 2nd. We look forward to seeing you this summer. It's actually the bottom of the fifth inning. I think I got ahead of myself when we ended the last inning. Uh, Clark Applegren, Keegan Stanley, and Matt Munoz slated for Mountain View here in the bottom of the fifth inning. Chris Ray out to work his fifth inning. Fouled at the plate over towards third base dugout. <laughs> Off speed pitch, nothing doing. Out 
Applegard got on the fielder's choice in his first at bat. Takes low. Two and one the count. Off speed pitch, he reaches for it. Throw to first by Sharp is in time to retire Applegren. Nice bounce to Kevin Sharpie. Took two, three, four paces. He, he was almost at the pitcher's mound when he threw it. One away. Keegan Stanley the batter. Keegan Stanley struck out his previous at bat. Takes high ball one. Another count. <laughs> Fouled up into the screen, rattles around and drops to the ground. Curve ball in there for a strike. Two and two. Foul down the right field line. Foul tip into the glove of Yuta Okada. Two away. Batter is Matt Munoz. Munoz is one for two on the day. He scored the first run of the game in the first inning. And there's been really. First inning. The yeah. First inning's been it. They've scored two runs in the first, nothing since. Game's been moving along pretty good. Lifted into shallow left field. The shortstop going back on it, making the call and making the catch is Revive Levens. Out number two. Three. Let's say uh, out number three <laughs> because, you know, that's basic math and that's what I should know at my age. I should at least know to count to one, two, and three. That'll do it for Mountain View. In the bottom of the fifth, we've now played five complete and it is two to nothing Mountain View. Shot of our cameras, a little bit of the truck, KMVT. That's where Bobby, Bobby Chastain, Chastain is out. housed. Keep him inside during the games. His sanctuary, producer director. 
Justin Wenig, uh, Chris Ray, and Raviv Levin slated here for Gunn as they come out to face Will Thornton in the top of the sixth inning. Like that last little commercial there about the kids' uh, camp they have at KMVT. I noticed by the end of the class, they even had them all wearing their hats straight better than cockeyed. Daniel Ray goes way back on that way back. one. Had to reach. Woo. Had to <laughs> reach to make the catch, and the crowd it was a delayed reaction because we were <laughs> weren't really sure if he had caught it, but Daniel Ray having a field day out there on right field. Wynn got hold of it a little, got up that high. Yeah, he's been and having Danny. to go back on those, and he's played yeah. every one of them perfectly. They're perfect, there, you're right. Chris Ray, one for two on the day. The leadoff batter for the Gun Titans. And their pitcher looks to drag bunt. Got a piece of it, and that's about it. And there's the old saying, you need base runners, you're down two. That is an old saying, mm -hmm. and still true. And it, it holds very true. This one's hit hard into left field, going back on it in there to nonchalantly make the catch of Sam Moore. For out number two, the ball was hit hard, yeah, but right at Moore. Ball was up a little, and he, Ray got a good swing on it. Got some good aluminum, but uh, right at him. Just a dang. Raviv Levin's the batter. Levin's also one for two on the day. Struck out in his last plate appearance. Go and fouls this one in the first baseman. Right yeah. behind first base. And a knife actually came, looks like it might have come back into, into play. It was a fair ball. And a uh, nice job by Matt Munoz over there at first to make the play in an extremely quick half inning was the top of the six. We've now played five and a half. It's still two to nothing Spartans. Dwight Washington, Daniel Ray, and Will Thornton slated here for the Mountain View Spartans in the bottom of the sixth inning. And both teams right now playing as if they are double parked. Washington, it's a piece of that one. Reached reach for it, but uh, got it down the third baseline. Sharp has it, throws across, and just in time to retire Washington. One away, and the batter is Daniel Ray. Kevin Sharp, a nice play, nice pickup, strong throw. Dwight was very fast. On plate umpire Dave Inigas letting. Dwight Washington, another one. He released the bat. He not only hit the catcher, he hit the umpire. It was a double dip, so to speak. I Two scoops. See, I, I didn't see that. Did you see it? I, well, no, I only... Because the umpire drew it to our attention. Nice pitch by Ray at the knees for a strike, 0-1. One's hit well towards center field, but there to make the catch. Right at him. Is Dante Sweat. So Ray hit it hard, but right at the center fielder. Yeah, right on the button. Two away. And the batter is the pitcher, Will Thornton. Takes inside ball one. One and one the count. Excuse me, two and one the count. I'm not pitching the dirt. Two and oh the count. I'll catch up. It's, it's one of those. It'll be like Jeopardy. What is the count? And it's like, well. I got the answer wrong twice, but then I got it when it was 2-0. Oh. Well, yeah, there's, there was only three pitches, so you, you had to get the third one. Well, with 2-0, oh, there's only two pitches. Now there's been three pitches, three and it's go. a 3 and count. Okay. So when you give me those looks of umbrage, and then you turn around and make a math error right there <laughs> before God and man. Oh, my 
goodness gracious. I love doing baseball games. 3 0 to Thornton. Let's go, Chad! It's this one Another towards shot. the center fielder. Coming in to make the catch is Dante Sweat. And that will do it for Mountain View in the bottom of the sixth inning. We've played six complete. It's two to nothing Spartans. Well, I was at a fire department training and I had these shooting pains when they just shot right up into my temples. I went to Palo Alto Medical to follow up with my doctor. He found a heart murmur. It turned out to be an aortic aneurysm, which would have killed me had he not caught it. I don't really like going to the doctor, but I, I truly like going and seeing the guy. He's a great doctor, and he saved my life. New pitcher for Mountain View, Chandler Brown, on to close things out for the Spartans. They lead two to nothing here in the top of the seventh, and if he gets out of here, the Spartans come away with a victory. They're going to face the three, four, and five hitters for the Gun Titans and Kevin Sharp, Connor Dang, and Okada Yuta. We'll see what he's going to get. I'm usually coming in like this and then have some heat. It's hit hard down the right field line, and that's down for a hit. Around first and on his way to second. Is Kevin Sharp, and he's in with a stand-up double. Let her look at it. Here's your replay, first pitch. Outfielder! A little outside, but he went right at it. Nice swing. Right down in the corner. Danny Ray had to throw in there. Hey, John, back up, cover him up. Connor Dang the batter, and I don't think we'll see any bunning here. He's one for two on the day as they trail by two here in the seventh, so he'll be swinging away. Mountain View defense plays back. First pitch misses, ball one. Low in the dirt, nothing doing on the runner as it deflected off the umpire Dave Inigas and Keegan Stanley alertly jumped all over it, keep the runner from advancing and now he'll go have a chat with his pitcher. Chandler Brown settle him down a little bit. Also gave his home plate umpire a chance to relax a little bit, always a smart thing to do. Keep him happy. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Right now, man on second like this, very important on the catcher's part for Keegan. We got a big backstop back here, like we said earlier. Any pass ball, runner can almost walk to, to third base. Well, this is one where you, I mean, you're up by two runs, so the one run doesn't really mean anything. You right. got to get the batters out. Pitch misses. Three and zero the count. Yeah. To Connor Dang. He's throwing one strike and it was hit for a double. <laughs> yeah. And I think they took Thornton out of the game, so he cannot come back in to pitch. Pitch in there for a strike. If the pitcher stays on the field, he could actually come back, back in the pitch. In, right. I mean, we don't see. I don't but uh, he's not on the field, so he cannot come back into the game. Foul tipped into the glove of Stanley. Good pitch by Brown. Brown battling added back. Yeah, add it down low. He's got the count back. It's full. They got nobody. Go, please watch. Go, Brown. Hit into the gap in center field, but Dwight Washington with great speed gets over there to make the catch. So the ball was hit hard, but Dwight Washington Good speed. covers a lot of ground out there in center field. Boy, that was hit right on the button, too. 
One down. Now you catch her for the gun titans. First pitch to Yuda in there for a strike, going one. They got one out. They ain't doing diving. Yuda okay to cut. Grounds it towards shortstop. Applegren has it. A ball. Another ball's come out on the infield somehow. The play continues. The outs made. The runner advances to third, but somebody warming up in the bullpen uncorked a wild one. Another look at it. Here's your replay. Ball had a little spin on Applegate. Has nice form. He picked it up real clean. Two outs in the batter is Dante Sweat. Sweat has flown out to center. And he has popped out to shortstop. Kevin Sharp on that ground out went down to third base. Go. Yes, he did. Fouls that one out of play as the Gun Titans are down to their last out here. Been a well played game, buddy. No, it really yeah. has been. Right? These guys have been moving right along, sharp with the balls, nice defense. You know, for Gun, having they don't have a win in, in league, league play. Right. Um, have actually played a very. Very competitive game. Yes, they have with t 10 players. Yeah. Yeah. Very. Of course, Chris Ray gets a lot of credit for that as he pitched a beauty of a game for him. Yeah, he did. Go, two down. The only other player that didn't was uh, Dante's brother. Popped up Find it. down Come the back. third baseline over there to McAllister, and he can't make the catch. He runs a little bit into the fence. Might have come back in. He was right against the fence. Yeah, he went into the bullpen there, but it was close. He yeah. could have maybe made a jump at it, but he, he, that's a tough play when you're running towards the fence trying to find it and mm -hmm. keep track of the ball. That's a tough play. Foul back uh, into the screen as Sweat takes a good hack at it, pulled his head a little at the end. A one and two count as Chandler Brown is started like he was going to have a little bit of difficulty here in the seventh, but he's he really in. settled in. Yeah, yep. looking good out there. That's why he's there. Off That's speed off pitch speed. gets him to pop it up. McAllister says he has it, and indeed he does. For out number three, and that will do it for the Gun Titans, and that will do it for this ball game as Chandler Brown comes in and picks up the save. Will Thornton, the winner in this game. Chris Ray, a tough loss, giving up only two runs in the first inning. And there's your final line score for the Mountain View. Two runs on four hits, one error for the Titans. No runs on four hits and no errors. We'd like to thank our producer director, Bobby Chastain. Our camera crew, Robin Frank, Renee Mendoza, Jim Twu. Special thanks to Mountain View High School for allowing us to come out here and bring you this broadcast today. For all of us here at KMVT, for my compadre, the retired mailman, Terry Ward, I'm Paul Cunningham. We'll see you next time.